Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Venu Gopal. As part of this episode, let us understand how can we determine SAP system ID and logical system name programmatically using ABAP in your SAP system. So as you are aware, SAP system ID or logical system name of your uh, the current system what you are going to work on is very very important factor whenever you wanted to implement some dynamic logic meaning assume that your logic should behave differently in each of the source system or the system you are working in across the landscape for example your logic should take a data from a table a in your development environment table free from quality environment the same logic if it is running or the same program if it is running in production it has to take the data from table c in this case you will have to implement a logic by checking what is the current system which you are or which the program is running on so this is very very common requirement which will come in your uh, any work in uh, the customized requirement be it a bw ABAP requirement or customized uh, ALV report or some other uh, ABAP object. So, as part of this episode, let us understand how can we determine the same. Come on guys, let us start today's session. Let us understand what exactly is a logical system. A logical system is used to identify an individual client in a system for early, early communication between SAP system. What does it mean? So, when you are creating a logical source system, generally the SAP basis stream will create this particular logical source system whenever you are creating a RFC connection between for example, uh, two different SAP system, for example, ECC and BW. So, then they will create a logical source system and under that they will also assign some background users so that the background communication can happen between these two system right so that is logical system at the same time sap system id so coming to sap system id the sap system id or system name is stored in a system data instance okay so it is generally of three character length for example and this particular value will be given by sap basis team or these admin people when the installation of SAP. So, each of the system in your landscape will have unique system ID for each of their system. For example, development, they can have DH1 quality, they can have uh, MH1, PH1 or DW1, MW1, PW1 or DC1, MC1, PC1. It depends on client to client. Okay. So, these are unique. So, now let us get into the system and understand how can we derive the value for the same programmatically. Okay. So, the topic or the concept or the steps what we are discussing right now is unique in each of the system. Okay. It holds good in each of the system. I am getting into my SAP ECC. Let us go to SC38 transaction code and create a simple program. So, I am creating an executable program so that we can write a logic and you make use of write command to print the content of the variables. So, now if you remember earlier we have a system variable called psi datum. This is part of psi or sys structure. The value of this particular datum column of that structure psi or sys structure will be populated during the runtime. So, you can make use of this variable to access the current system date. If I run this, it will print the current system date, correct? So, if you go back and see the structure, there is a, this sys structure is having multiple columns in it. There is a column called sys id. So, this sys id will hold the name of the SAP system. So, let us try to print the content of psi sys id. What it will print? It will print current system id which is three characters. The current system ID is EH7. So, ideally it should print EH7 in the output of this program. Got it? So, in the right command, let us also add some hard coded string so that it is easy for you to understand. 
okay the current system id will be stored in your size is id for your logic if you want to implement a dynamic logic what you can do you can either use case command in your uh, ABAP logic case size sys id and uh, you can use different systems over here and apply different logic or else you can make use of if statement so now let us understand how can we derive the value of current uh, logical system name of this system which is associated with the current client so there is a function module given by sap called own logical system get okay this is the function module given by sap you can make use of this function module by running this function module it will give logical system name of the current system what you have logged into okay so t90 client 090 how can i get this programmatically so now we got to know there's a function model given by sap i can call this function module to get the derived uh, required uh, the logical system correct so now how can you call the function module click on pattern it will give you a pop-up window use this call function enter here see we are trying to call a function model own logical system get which is going to provide the logical system name in this parameter let us uncomment this once you uncomment when we run this function model obviously the own logical system column will give the result to our program but we have to accept the output of this function model which will come in this variable to your local variable correct let us declare a variable say we call it as blocks is type so make sure that the type of this variable is exactly same as this own logical system variable of this function model go back to your function model copy the variable type okay so now we declared a variable let us accept that variable here if size of is equal to zero the function model call is success now what we will do let us print the data logical system system name is so we will print the content of this lv logsys so lv logsys will hold current system logical system name of the current client or the system what we have logged in if you run this see the system id is printing as es7 obviously es7 at the same time logical system name is t90 client 090 okay this is how you will be able to identify the sap system id and logical system name of the current system what you have logged into programmatically okay hopefully you guys like this video guys and understand the topic so if you like this video please do subscribe to our youtube channel at the same time you can share our channel information to your uh, friends or colleagues who wish to learn this uh, kind of concept at the same time if you are looking for online training on sap abap bw bw abap bw anana native ana ana related sql and bw for ana feel free to reach out to me on my mail id that is venugopal mn1988 at the rate gmail.com you can also call me on my mobile number or whatsapp me on this number which is plus 91 followed by 973-998-3992. Thank you so much and have a good one guys.